kind of have these stacked in order of like importance. So I'm putting that down at the bottom because it's going to take longer to do the video on that one. This one is Nike basketball. <laughs> it's not really Nike basketball, but it should be because this is the original basketball shoe from Nike. It's the Nike Blazer um, Mid 77 Vintage. That means it's made the exact same way it was made back in 77 when the shoe released. When I say this is a great looking shoe, most of the dudes that are like watching these videos and stuff like that, they're probably going to be like, yo, that ain't my flavor, that's not a Jordan, blah, blah, man, these things, OGs, old heads, those of us who are like, you know, up there in the game and we've been doing this for a long time, this shoe is butter. This is about the same as getting a pair of uh, Converse Pro leathers, Dr. J's, same thing, same thing. Uh, Blazer Mid, 77 Vintage, colors, white, black, style code BQ6806. 100 SRP, hundred dollars. Now that's a little bit more than we would expect on a blazer, but that's about right, and it's not bad at all. It's got a QR code and an RFID for tracking and supply chain issues. That's more for Nike than it is for us. I'm not going to do the QR code right now. The 11 and a half UPC is one nine two four nine nine two eight zero three one two. There's a 15 at the end. Now these tend to have stamps on the inside of them and QC stickers, and you see the stamp is here on the box. So I'm going to give you the date for that QC stamp and that's 07-10-2019. 07-10-2019. Let's open up the box, open up this paper. There's no sticker in there, so we don't have a QC sticker, but we do have a QC stamp. And the way we look at this, if we had to authenticate the shoe, which we don't have to authenticate this, nobody's really bootlegging these. But if they wore it, then you would look at your date as one of the things to authenticate the shoes. Now I'm trying to find the shoe size up in here, and it's very hard to find it, the size label. So that means I'm going to open it up a little bit, and this video is going to be longer because of it. But I can cut it. All right, so what I'm looking at is our 07-10-2019. Our production date is 04-04-19-2. O six seventeen nineteen. So O six seventeen O seven ten. It's a month within four weeks. We make sure our production date matches up with our QC stamp, and that's the reason I'm doing that just for you guys that are kind of wondering as far as authenticating shoes why I sit and do that. But that's why I do it. You got that unfinished tongue that's right there, so you can see the foam exposed. And I know you guys are like, dude, why are you gushing all over these shoes? The suede at the toe box. Suede here on the side. This is an excellent. The print at the back for the Nike. The classic Nike orange box logo on the tongue. I'm going to move the camera up and do a close up and wrap this up. But you guys may not be all over these. Why on earth people are not buying these the same way they buy Jordan 1? I guess because there's nobody really attached to the Blazers. Unless you were like Portland and the championship that the Portland Trailblazers won and maybe Big Red or something like that. And you guys know who Big Red is if you were ball players. I used to coach in San Diego and his kids played at uni. And he would be at all the games and it was crazy. Bill Walton. Um, little perforated holes on the side. Let's do a close up and wrap this one up. I love this shoe. Love this shoe. I think it's great. Close up. Alright. So... Here's our close-up of the shoe, and you have that, what you would call a mud guard. But, of course, this extra layer protects your pinky toe from getting, getting smashed, basically, too much, or bumped too much. And the same thing with the toe box here. Your shoes wear out. When you're a ball player, your shoes tend to wear out across the creased parts of the shoe and at the toe, and you have to replace your shoes. But then, of course, it wears out on the bottom, and you got that classic cup sole. But, you know, I'm moving this up. So we can get a better look at that Nike logo, which I'm too close and I have to keep fixing the camera. There we go. Y'all like, get that camera right, yo. All right, I got it right. It's good. But you see how it kind of looks like it's printed on right there? I mean, I just love that little detail. But that's it, man. I'm not going to stay on this long. I love this shoe. I think it's a great sneaker. And... 
I'm just surprised it's not reselling for more or that it's not selling out everywhere. But then again, people are not necessarily big sneaker fans in that way. They tend to kind of like the stuff that's hot and hype. And I get it. You know, but this shoe should really perform well at retail. Suede swoosh. But that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one.